G'day guys, back down on the Foxes again this week on a two night contract. I've got a mate of mine that's come down to give me a hand. Should be a lot of fun, let's see how we go. Heading off to side in Scott's setup and then um, over to property number one for tonight. My gate bitch. <laughs> yeah, good on you. <laughs> I just got in trouble. I walked past the gate post. The property owner said that um, I've got to go and get my present for the evening. And look at this. I told her I was bringing a, an offsider. So one for me and one gate for bitch. Rod's gate pitch. <laughs> I love it. See? We do care for you, Scott. Thank you very much. <laughs> Here comes that full moon. Fortunately, we've got a fair bit of cloud cover tonight. So I don't think it's going to cause that much of an issue. I've got two foxes above the sheep running along that fence line. See if I can close the distance and get a shot at them. There's your mate. Shit, they're running around everywhere. Cop that. Did you get it? No, no, these very easy to get up and get on. That got him. That smoked him. It's been a bit bloody tough so far tonight. Freezing cold, the moon's up, and every fox that we've seen has been a country freaking mile away. And we've just spotted what one, two, three, or five in this this upper paddock here, and um, waited for the first one to come across, dropped it. Second one came over, and. Um, managed to get in as well around about the 200 metre mark and then the last three that we've seen in this paddock around these lambs um, were all out around three, 350. I think the last one was at how far? 394 metres. <laughs> It'll give a jellyfish a heart on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't know about that but um, it's nice to get them out of the freaking paddocks that's for sure. So five down, a couple of hours in, we will continue. My gate man Scott has got a brand new thermal on his rifle this trip. We sighted it in for the first time this afternoon and I must say I was blown away by the quality of this thing. It is the top of the line infrared TS60 with the 1280 core. He's pretty keen to give it a bit of a run, especially on the foxes, but we haven't seen one in the last hour and a half. What we have seen though is a lot of hares running around the paddocks. Now that's not something I generally shoot except for this time of year. With all the little lambs on the ground, shooting a few hares provides an alternate food source for the foxes and sometimes we get lucky and we might even get a fox off one of the carcasses.
I think we have a bit of a problem. We can't seem to drive past a hair without Scott wanting to blow it up with his 270. <laughs> Street justice. <laughs> Street justice. <laughs> Time to check out what we got in our little package. Ooh. Mini Scott's fingers. Ooh. Dairy milk. Oh, and a top line. It's going to be pretty yum with a cup of tea. Oh, it's going down great at midnight. <laughs> uh, time to get stuck in. Thank you, Anne. Another fox down there. Seen that kabungi grass. There we go. Play with that, pal. Look at this shit. I'm gonna wait for a safe shot, that's all. Oi! Where did the other one go? That is one good sized dog. Nice chompers too. Look at you. Jesse's he's got a beautiful coat, hasn't he? Mm. Oh well, you can hear the lambs in the background. He was up to a bit of mischief. Not anymore. Oh, just jumped over the fence. There's a ewe down in this paddock. Looks like she's cast, which means she's fallen over facing downhill when they're pregnant and they're so fat, they just can't get themselves back up and they can actually kill them. So I'll get in and see if we can get her back on her feet. It's all right, darling. Uh, you just... Oh God, almost lamby. I'm gonna try and roll you over, okay? There you go. Good girl, get your legs. I'll leave you be. Well, she's pretty weak. I'll let the farmer know and he can check on her again in the morning. Hopefully she's okay. Get that up ya! 460 metres and he has been smoked. Slight change of plans. We've come back out to the place we shot on last night. Because there were so many foxes around, the farmer has asked us to come out and spend a couple of hours here just looking over this main mob of ewes. We've got five in this particular paddock, so hopefully if anything comes in in the next couple of hours we'll be able to take care of it as well. And then we'll make our way over to the property that we were going to shoot and spend the remainder of the night there. Not off to the best start. I brought beautiful scotch fillets to cook up in the paddock tonight. Steak sandwiches, about 2 a.m. However, I just realized I left the cooktop back at camp. So I'm not eating them raw. <laughs> Scott, Scott said he'd have a crack, but I'm not too keen. I've had to give the property owner a call and she has kindly offered to cook them up for us. So we pop back down to the house. She's cooking them up now, wrap them in our foil, throw them in the esky, very spoiled. I'm running the 223 Suppress with the Southern Cross Small Arm Suppressor and the Hick Micro Panther PQ50L on top of it. Bexon tripod and I've mounted mine via Arca Swiss plate. Scott is running, what type of, is it a ticker? Yep. Yeah, a ticker in 270. He has an over the barrel suppressor. Um, geez, it's big compared to mine. Look at that. You know what they say about guys that uh, 
have big suppressors, don't you? I'm not even going there. <laughs> and on top of it, he is running the new 1280 resolution infra tube TS60. On top of his bog death crypt, I had a really good look over this scope last night. And I must say that I'm absolutely blown away by the quality of the image. And if you do spend the money and purchase one of these, you get to get you get one of these really fancy mounts that come with it. Apparently you can't buy it separate. Scott's already tried to do so, but it um, comes as part and parcel of the package. One of the things I did notice when reviewing the video footage was that the audio is absolutely mint. That's a really important thing for people like myself doing all the YouTube stuff. So I hope that the other manufacturers can follow suit and um, bring their audio up to speed. It'll definitely make my life a hell of a lot easier. Good day. Oi! Well, I have a very happy gate opener. It's the fastest I've seen him move all night, and this is why. We just came around the corner and was greeted by this feral cat at about 30 metres. Scott jumped out of the car Grab the 270 and the TS60. I cannot show you the other side of this cat because it literally isn't there. You may be wondering why would we shoot a cat? Well, this is not someone's pet. It is actually a feral pest and they're responsible for doing things like this. Killing our native birds and our reptiles and marsupials, not to mention other animals. They are the biggest predator and problem animal that we have in Australia, responsible for killing millions and millions of natives every year. So I have said it before, if you don't like it, you've just got to suck it up and get over it. Well, I'm sure you'd all agree, it's been a very productive and fun little trip. Big thank you to Scott for all your help, opening the gates, collecting foxes, and mate, it's just been great to have some company. Um, I don't think I've laughed that hard in ages. You and your stupid one-liners. Um, I especially like the... That'd give a jellyfish a hard on. I'm going to have to use that one. Um, bloody hilarious. And a special thanks goes out to the farmers. You guys take the best of care of me down here, and I really, really do appreciate it. I'm just glad I can return the favour by saving a few of your lambs. Anyhow, until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Don't you love it? You invite a mate to come away shooting with you, start doing a video intro, and he starts farting in the background. <laughs> now he's sitting over there giggling. It's not funny. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. <laughs> You're killing me.